Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing why your ex can change their mind. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing why your ex can change their mind. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you will want to know if it's possible that they can change their decision. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three reasons why your ex can change their mind. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is they've already done it once. Now, this is at least once. You know, I don't know your specific situation, but potentially you have proof of concept that they've changed their mind multiple times already. But certainly they've changed it at least once. And the reason I say this is because sadly right now you're broken up. But to be broken up, it means you were once together. And therefore we see a huge shift of mindset a huge decision for your ex dumper made. They only became your ex dumper because they ended your relationship. And therefore, you can see the changing of mind, which unfortunately broke your heart. But as a proof of concept of them changing their mind, we can see it's possible to happen again. If you were once together in a loving relationship where somebody tells you that they love you, maybe you're even married, maybe you've heard those vows being said. If somebody can go from that point to breaking up with you, what we can see is that anything is possible. Because if somebody is saying those wedding vows, or even if you weren't married, if they're telling you that they love you, if you were in a long-lasting, loving relationship, you can see that if they've gone from that to the position that you both find yourself in right now, as sad as upsetting as it is right now, what you can see is that they can change their mind. And if they can change their mind that way, then why can't they change their mind backwards to this way, to the way which we want them to do if you want to get your ex back? And the truth is, they absolutely can. If your ex is your ex, then one day you could be together again. Now, of course, there is no 100% guaranteed way to get an ex back. Nothing works 100% of the time and nothing fails 100% of the time. But what we can see is that it is possible. People often ask me, can my ex change their mind? How is it possible that they could change their mind? And I just want you to think about and listen to the words what I'm saying here. Because if you understand that they have ended a relationship and hence they've created a huge shift of change, if you can see that, then of course you should be able to see that anything is possible, including going the other way and reconnecting with you. You're single right now because your ex dumper lost romantic emotional attraction for you. That is the reason. Whatever the rationale was as for why they started to lose romantic emotional attraction, the truth is that it hit the necessary low point and they actioned a breakup. This is why you're single. So what we need to see in reverse is a regrowing a romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind in regards to how they feel for you. And if it hits the necessary high point, that is when they are going to want to reconnect with you. Now, you don't have to accept this because this could be months or years down the line. And at that point, you might not want them back. It's your choice as well. It's not just down to them. But you likely will have the opportunity to reconnect if you can regrow the attraction in their mind. But if you can do that then this is going to be something they're going to find very difficult not to reach out to you about. Now, they might not reach out to you and say, hey, I want to get back together. You know, it's very unlikely to be so Disney-esque. It's very unlikely to be so clear-cut. What is more likely is that one day your expert dumper will reach out to you and ask you something somewhat surprising to you. They might ask, I like to use the example of something such as, hey, I was just wondering, did I leave some socks at your house? And you're thinking, we broke up six months ago. Why on earth do you want to know if you left some socks at my house now? 
you know, not only are they worth very little, but why are you asking them this question now? They're not made of gold. What is the point here? Well, the point is that this is an indirect, direct approach. It's indirect because they're not actually saying what they're thinking. What they're thinking is, I miss you, but they're not going to say that. So they find an indirect way to reach out to you. And then at that stage, this is when they're going to be hoping the conversation can grow and develop. So that's what you're looking out for, dumpies. You're looking out for an unnecessary level of contact. It could be in other ways. It could be a phone call. They might even knock on your door, but that is very, very unlikely. It's much more likely to be some type of text message. Some type of digital messaging is the most likely way that a dumper will reach out to you if and when they hit the necessary high point of regrown romantic emotional attraction. Now, sadly, not all dumpers will get to that point. Not all dumpers will grow the necessary attraction to want to reach out to you. However, if as a dumpy you do everything right, you increase your chance of your expert dumper getting to that stage. We can't promise you, but it increases your chance. And that's all any of us can do. Increase our chance of success and whatever our aims and goals are. And your goal as a dumpy is to regrow that level of attraction in your ex's mind. And if that happens, they will consider changing their mind. And if you think they can't, remember, you have proof of concept. Because sadly, they've already changed their mind before. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And point number two is you can become different people. Now, if you're the same person when you're 40 years old that you were when you were 20 years old, that would be very surprising and somewhat sad. People need to evolve. People need to grow. People need to develop. And even if you feel you have the core principles of a person that you once were, that's fine. You will likely have added strings to your bow. That's the aim. That's the target. That is positive growth. However, it doesn't have to be something where you're 40 years old and you're reflecting back on when you were 20. Things can happen much quicker than that. Improvements, changes, evolution can take months, not decades, not even years. So if we're looking at what you can do as a dumpy to try and reattract your ex, First of all, you need to recognise that the person that they dumped is not somebody that they want to be with right now. And therefore, you need to grow as a person and improve. Now, I'm not saying that you need to do this in every way that your dumper quote-unquote demands. Because you might think to yourself, no, what they want in a person is not how I am as a person. And I'm not willing to make that change. It's not authentic. It's not genuine. That's fine. You need to be you but you can't expect to get an ex back if you don't match what they're looking for. It doesn't mean you need to do that, but it does mean that you might need to consider that possibly right now, you're no longer the option that one another really wants to and needs to be with. It's just something to consider there as a side point. But more importantly, point number two is talking about the fact that you can become different people. So your ex dumper ended your relationship. At that point, you are you and they are they. But that is not necessarily going to be how you both are six months down the line, a year down the line, certainly 20 years down the line. But we're not looking that far ahead. We're looking at months in reality here. So if your ex for dumper ended your relationship and you are no longer the person that they dumped, there is every opportunity that they might start to regrow romantic emotional attraction. That's really important why we're asking and answering a question, why your ex can change their mind, because you don't have to be the person that they dumped. But, and also very important, they don't have to be the person that dumped you. Now, this can play in your favour, but sometimes it could go against you as well. We have to consider that option. If, for instance, you were very much aligned when you was in your relationship, and sadly, you started to go down your own paths, and that is why your ex ended relationship, they felt you'd grown apart. You know, that sometimes happens, but sadly, sometimes it's just life. Well, if beyond that point, the chasm becomes greater, you grow further apart, then sadly, they're not going to want to reconnect with you. But if we're thinking positively, if we're thinking of opportunities for you as a dumpy to get your ex back, you may and quite possibly grow together. 
So maybe at the end of your relationship, you were growing apart, you were growing further afield, but post breakup, three, six, nine months down the line, you're actually growing together once more, and therefore you stand a chance of getting your ex back. This is something really important to remember because you can become different people. Now, you can only control the controllables. You can't control what your ex badumper does. You can only control what you do as a person and hope that it may influence your ex's decision. So you can't decide which way they grow or potentially even stagnate. However, you can definitely control the direction that you go in. And you need to make sure you're moving forward, you're improving, and you're certainly not stagnating. But if you're stagnating, your expert dumper is not going to want to reconnect with you. And if you go even beyond that point and you fall back and you become a version 0.5, a version 0.5 of yourself, your expert dumper is absolutely never going to want to reconnect with you. You need to push forward. You need to become that version 2.0. But please do it for you. Don't do it for them. Yes, you might want your ex back, but you can't act forever. You need to be authentic. Authentic growth is fine. Authentic growth is brilliant. If that authentic growth coincides with what your ex dumper finds attractive, then wonderful. But please don't be doing things only to try and get your ex back because you won't be able to maintain it. If it's not truly you, if it's not truly the new you, if you're acting, if you're putting on a show, you're putting on a performance, this is not going to work in the long term. You won't be able to maintain it. So please don't kid yourself. It's got to be for you. And if the byproduct is that it attracts your ex, then fantastic. But please make sure that you think about you first and foremost. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where me and you can speak one-on-one -on -one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips, for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast, about why your ex can change their mind. And point number three is they need to walk a different path to feel regret. So for your ex dumper to feel regret, for your ex dumper to consider that they made a wrong decision, for your ex dumper to decide that they want to change their mind, they need to walk down a different path first. If they don't go down this new path, how on earth can they come to the conclusion that they made a bad decision? So you might not like the sound of this because it does involve your ex dumper living their life without you. But if they've ended a relationship, there's nothing you can really do about this. Now, does this mean that they're going to be dating new people? Possibly. Doesn't necessarily mean that, but it might do. And again, this is something you need to come to terms with. Now, there are some people who say, if my ex dumper dates anybody else, I don't even want them back. Now, look, that's your viewpoint. I can't change your viewpoint, but you need to be realistic here. They will get to the stage where they might consider dating new people. It doesn't mean it's going to last forever. In fact, it's very unlikely to last forever. But if you find out your ex dumper dated somebody new and now they want to get back with you, that doesn't mean you're a backup option. What it likely means is they've realised that nobody stands up to you, that nobody is as good as you. And this is where the regret can come into play. Lots of people think of this in a negative sense. They see it as, okay, I'm a backup option. It's not gone well for them. Now they want me back. No. Have you ever thought that they've dated new people? Your expert dumper has dated new people and that they've decided they don't want to proceed with this new connection. It's not about them being dumped necessarily and then them coming back to you. Maybe they have decided they don't want to continue with somebody new because they realise they're not as good as yourself. They're not enjoying the relationship as much. They don't feel that same vibe, that same electricity. So don't always think of it negatively. You know, I can't affect your mindset if you say to yourself, I'm not going to get back with my ex if they date anybody new. I can't change that in your mind. But what I would say is you've got to be realistic. And if you've been apart six, nine, 12 months, there is a very strong possibility of your ex dumper has at least been on a date. It doesn't mean it was anything serious. It doesn't mean there was any intimacy. 
but it does mean they likely went down their own path, which may have considered and maybe even did involve dating somebody new. But like I say, this can actually work for you. Because when we're considering why your ex can change their mind, it's because if they go down this different path, they can realize that you are their best option. They can realize how much they miss you. And they can only do that if A, you're no longer in their life, and B, they experience life which is not as good. So try not to be scared of the fact that your ex dumper is now single and doing their own thing. Because it could inadvertently, in your mind at least, bring them back to you much quicker. You know, the, the more they can recognise and realise that you are their best option, the sooner they will likely be back. And if you imagine a scenario where you and your ex never ever broke up, but sadly things were just moving along in a fairly negative way, the person who could have ended your relationship, your partner, if they didn't actually end it, but they just continued with you and things were very unhappy, but you thought, you know what, let's keep trying, let's keep trying to make this work, but unfortunately, it was just very unhappy between you, your soon-to-be expert dumper is not going to get to that point of recognising how valuable you are, unless they see some life without you and realise that other people don't stand up to you. So sometimes, it might sound kind of twisted, but sometimes it's important for your breakup to take place for the person who ends it, to recognise how valuable a person you are. You know, it might not seem the best option for a breakup to take place, but sometimes it's better to go for a breakup. You both grow as people, you both realise how special you are and get back together. Sometimes that is better than chugging along in a way which one or both of you maybe aren't even that happy just for the sake of quote-unquote trying to make things work for year after year after year. Now, I'm not saying that breaking up is ideal, but sometimes it is ironically the kickstart of a much happier connection between you both later down the line. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.